Howdy folks, Scott Grove here, just doing some reviews on some different instruments I have around. Again, uh, just to clarify for all the uh, wusses out there and the whiners and people who like to just leave stupid comments, they'll be erased <laughs> and you'll be banned, you know, not no big deal. But anyway, these are just strictly my reviews on my instruments and what I think of them uh, to help you um, along. I'm just trying to do a little helpful thing by uh, giving you my opinion, what I think sucks and what rules about uh, all these different things, okay? So it is just a review. I'm not here to sit here and play Hendrix for you all day and entertain you. I'm telling you about the instruments, okay? So what we have uh, here, uh, you're not going to see a lot of these, okay? This is... Da -da -da. I don't even know if I can get that dude in there enough. Okay. The McNally Strumstick. Not a drumstick, it is a strumstick. Look at, it's a three string instrument, which is tuned octaves, and then a fifth in the middle. I have mine tuned in E, so it's E, B, E, okay? Uh, when I got mine, it didn't have a bridge with it, so I just actually just made one and stuck it on there. So I ended up getting mine like eBay for 20 bucks or something. They are available on the local catalogs um, you know, your little wish books you get in the mail, so uh, if you've seen them in there, here they are. You'll notice the placement of the frets are sporadic, they're everywhere. Uh, these are basically to uh, ensure that you cannot play a wrong note. That's what these are for, okay? As you can tell, the body is non-existent. This is like a quarter a size of like the Martin backpackers or whatever, so these are tinny as all get out but that's what makes them cool. They sound like a combination between a uh, mandolin, a banjo, and maybe, um, God, some weird Middle Eastern instrument, you know? <laughs> uh, a little lute or something. Um, but they have their purpose. I used this before I uh, started grabbing all the other instruments to, and recordings to kind of help fill it up um, and tune it to whatever you want to. They give you suggestions. Um, but I simply okay. I'll grab a pick just for fun. Um, they come with this fishing line, this little braided thing already attached to them for as a strap. So that dude is on there. There's how your banjo looking strings go on there. Okay, so it's just, they're just tied on with this little strappy thing. Um, but it's just what it is. Okay, so. Okay. I have it cut a little low, so you'll hear a little fret buzz, but um, that's what they are. There's nothing to really tell about them. They're, they are actually wood. Um, the neck actually goes flows right on into the body and all the way around. Um, then they just put the top and the back on it. The back is pretty solid. The top is thinner to resonate more, but it's not going to get real loud. Of course, it's not heavy. But it's just a cool little instrument. If you need uh, something like this for recordings, um, it makes a neat instrument to just add back there to have some high sounds. And it's like I said, it's easy to play. They put the frets here so that you cannot hit a wrong note, so there's no learning curve. So no matter what fret you hit, you can't hit a wrong note. on any string. So it don't matter what string you hit or what fret you hit. Um, so this is perfect instrument for uh, anybody, especially the missus. If she's totally tone deaf and wants to just do something, you cannot hit a wrong note. That's why they made this. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so once again, that is the McNally Strumstick. If you've seen them before, wondered what the heck they are, it's just, it's not a novelty instrument, it's actually a serious instrument. And it's um, cool, you can always use it as a mini canoe paddle in the bathtub, you know, whatever you want to need it, you know, <laughs> use it for. But it's a cool instrument, it sounds so cool recorded. Uh, throw a little reverb on this thing on your, you know, recordings and uh, people are like, what the heck is that? And then, of course, they come over to the house and they see it sitting, uh, like how I have mine displayed, and of course, what the heck is that? And it's just a neat little instrument. Like I said, it's a, tune it however you want, but it's meant to be tuned uh, with a one, one, and a fifth in between. Um, they have different lengths of these, so for different high-pitched tunings or bare tones, tenor models, blah, blah, blah. So, once again, the McNally Strumstick. And um, I would get it again. If somebody stole this thing, I'd go out and pay whatever they cost. But I, like I said, I got it off eBay for like 20 bucks because it didn't have a bridge on it. So I just went out in the garage and made one out of a piece of wood, actually, real fast. I'm sure it would sound better with the real uh, bone nut or bone nut, bone bridge on there. But I just threw a piece of pine on there, carved it out, and uh, hey, I'm in business. And I <laughs> have a look back, so it's uh, fine and dandy, kitties. Uh, grab you one of these things if that interests you. It's really cool.